Hi, I'm James, Developer Evangelist for Dynamic PDF. In this tutorial, we demonstrate encrypting a PDF using Dynamic PDF Generator, provided as part of the Dynamic PDF Core Suite. Dynamic Core Suite combines the Merger, Generator, and Report Writer products into a powerful combined product. Using Dynamic PDF Generator, you can create PDF files, add digital signatures, add encryption and barcodes, charts, and convert HTML and images to PDFs. And that's just a few of Dynamic PDF Generator's many features. Also, Dynamic PDF Generator has a simple object model that's easily understood. But don't take my word for it. Let's demonstrate just how intuitive Dynamic PDF Generator really is by writing some code. If in another tutorial you already created the project examples-dynamicpdf-core, then open it. Otherwise, Start Visual Studio and let's create a new project. Create a new c .net core project. Console app, .net core, c -sharp. Next, name the project examples-dynamicpdf-core. Add the NuGet package. Search for it. CETE dot dynamic PDF. And there it is. CETE dynamic PDF dot core suite dot net. Select it. Install. OK. I accept. Now remove the console.writeLine statement. Add console.readkey. And we do that just so the console window doesn't close automatically when we run the application. Let's create a utility class that simplifies our project by adding code that makes resolving project paths easier. From Solutions Explorer, Create a new class named Util. Add class class name it Util and add it. Add a method named GetPath with FilePath as a property. We use this utility class to simplify the remaining code in this tutorial. Now download the PDF resources used in this tutorial. This file is a zip file containing all the example PDF documents we will use. Download the files at http dynamicpdf.com forward slash examples forward slash resources dot zip. Extract the files. Open them, find PDFs, copy it. Now let's return to Visual Studio, create a new folder named Resources. So now we have Resources, PDFs, and there's our example PDF files. From the Solutions Explorer, create a new class named Encrypt PDF. Add using statements for dynamic PDF, cryptography, and merger. Create a new static method named generator. Create a new document class instance. Create a new page class instance and add the page to the document. Now create a new AES-256 security class instance 
and pass a document owner's password and user's password to the constructor. Allow accessibility and disable form filling. Then set the document security property to our AES-256 security instance. Add the draw method to the document. Note that we pass the output path to the draw method. Create a method named run and add the call to the generator method. Return to the program class. Add the run method to main. Note that you might have other methods here from other tutorials. If you do, just comment those out. Run the program. Tap any key to close the console window. Navigate to the output folder. And there we go, encrypt PDF generator.pdf. Let's go ahead and open it. And there you go, it's asking for our password, which we put as owner pa or user password. And there's our document. Now let's demonstrate encrypting PDFs using the merge document class rather than the document class. The merge document class is used when we wish merging one or more PDFs to create a combined PDF. Another common use case is to encrypt an existing PDF. Let's encrypt an existing PDF document using the merge document class. Create a new method named merger. Add a new merge document instance and pass the path to document A in the constructor. Create a new instance of AES-256 security and pass the two passwords in the constructor, exactly like we did in the previous example. Set allow copy to false and allow print to false. Set the merge document security property to the AES-256 security instance. Add the draw method to the merge document and pass the output path. Add the merger method to run. Run the application. Tap any key to close the console window. Open the file. Notice the merged file is encrypted. Now let's try to print the document. Notice the printer icon is grayed out and cannot be selected. You also can't print the document from the file menu. Now let's try to copy the document. Copy is also grayed out in the edit menu. As the two examples in this tutorial illustrate, encrypting a document is both intuitive and easy. Of course, if you've completed other Dynamic PDF tutorials, you already know that Dynamic PDF makes working with PDFs easy. But don't be fooled by Dynamic PDF's intuitiveness and simplicity and you're not limited to the AES-256 security class. Dynamic PDF also supports AES-128, RC-440-bit, and RC-4128-bit, although neither are recommended to be used now, though, due to them being older and less secure. For more information on the options available for encrypting PDFs, refer to the documentation on our website. You can download the complete source code for this project from our dynamic PDF GitHub site at github.com. Refer to our website for more information on licensing dynamic PDF course suite. This is ideal for anyone who needs to create PDFs as well as work with existing PDFs in their applications. With a free evaluation edition to try and with flexible and royalty-free licensing options, why not start using Dynamic PDF Core Suite today? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm James reminding you 
When you think PDF, think dynamic PDF. Until next time.